All right, so we have to go find the wind, the wind crystal or whatever. The fuck? A little sprint indicator in the lower left. I never realized. I just showed someone into the courtyard so they could set up a new cannon. Makes sense that we'd be beefing up the castle defenses. What with Altena's troop movement. Come to think of it, I think the cannon's mechanic said something about blasting all the way to Maya. It was almost like he was talking about shooting people out of that thing instead of cannonballs. Aha, wouldn't that be something? I don't remember if the original explained why he sets the cannon up. I don't know if that is new dialogue. Maybe the original had that. Oh, you mean my older brother. I'm Von Jure. I know you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. I'm still setting up my brother's adventure. Very nice. Bonjour. Wait for the cannon to be finished. Don't keep me waiting. Come on. Alright, what do we have to do to wait? There are other things to attend to. I realize we're at level 15 now. We're getting pretty close to our class change. Really don't have any plans as to what we're going to do. But I'm kind of curious how much explanation they'll give us on the merits of each class. I imagine they probably would let us swap classes too. Just as quality of life. People's lives are 99% destiny, but the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. Call that final 1% hope. This is all what she said before. Nothing was coming to me. That's never happened. All I see is a fairy creature fluttering around. Yes, yeah, a fairy like that. Eek! Oh my, are you a real fairy? It's impossible to divine the future of a person possessed by a fairy. There's nothing wrong with your gift. That gave me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on your way out. I think I remember that happening... The thought of the fortune teller has granted you a new ability. Status effect time shortened by 50%. Banish. I think I remember something like that happening in the original as well, but obviously we didn't get a skill from it. I wish that wasn't something that was marked. It would have been a lot more fun to find out on our own. This town sure has a share of good looking folks in the area. I just met a lovely lady named Stella, I think it was. Stella. Apparently there are powerful beasts sealed within mana stones. At least that's what is that's what it said in a book. What would happen if they were released? Without the bridge for to Maya, there's nowhere for us to run. So we do have different dialogue here. I think that's similar to a line that was spoken here before. Nothing out of the ordinary, don't worry. Very similar dialogue to that person inside the castle. You seem to be in a hurry, yet you're wandering around aimlessly. What's this about a cannon? I see, you're idling away your time while you wait. I suggest you spend your time talking to folks around town. You never know what useful information you might pick up. Once, while I was taking my time on a stroll, I came across a cactus. Not just any cactus, this one can move on its own. It's quite a shock. Dear me, I've prattled on now, haven't I? <clears throat> Alright, where's the cactus? Strange to see these flowers bloom at this time of year. It seems like a bad omen to me, but who knows? Certainly there's a, a cactus in town here that we'll find before we go. <clears throat> Plant our seeds. Make sure we get on with it. Mushroom Eye, Fairy Walnut, Luna Icon. We're getting there. Heading to Laurent. 
I highly recommend stopping by the Night Market in Visor on your way. There are many things for sale there that may help you on your travels. Some rare items sold at the Night Market you can't buy anywhere else. Might as well take a look, right? I'm from Visor myself, so I love to recommend it to others. The town was mostly spare, but you never know when another kingdom may attack while our guard is down. What do you expect? After what Altana did, I have a hard time enjoying the town. Alright. <clears throat> I'm guessing the cannon is probably set up now at this point. Alright, where is the cactus? Probably stuck off in some random area behind a house or something oh <laughs> not not very well hidden <coughs> you found a little cactus goodness my throat is dying I even have a cough drop already <clears throat> god damn there's a lot of a lot of cactuses to find. Cacti. I guess it's the same guy over and over. We have seven points. Holy shit. We're saving up. Where's my... Can I have you a little cactus chart? Not an item you gave us, right? Stats display. Probably in here. Yeah, there we go. 10% <clears throat> discount. Occasional XP boost. Time to escape battles now. Have We haven't never run from a battle. Maybe we did it one time just to try it out. Rest at ins free of charge. Wow, that's pretty nice. More items available and resetting training points half off at the night market. I think it's really expensive. It's also nice that it marks on your map like that. So you can see that you've got it and know that you don't need to search this area if you come back and, you know, want to go for completion. I saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard of the castle. wonder what it's for. We're blasting off. <clears throat> I wonder how granular these cacti are going to be. Like, would there be one in here? There's a lot to find. Like 50, isn't there? Surely they're not, like, in every major room of the game, right? This dude's fucking yoked. What do you want, anyway? Listen here. I'm gonna get stronger than you and take your place as the best in the kingdom. Got it? Don't get comfy. Is this the guy who we beat his ass at the beginning of the game? Oh, the thought of Bruiser. Granted you new ability. Attack increases when using Class Strike. He looks like a fucking Gundam. He, he kind of does. He looks pretty cool, though. <clears throat> well, that's pretty cool that, like, just talking to random people will get you... Get you abilities. Personal style. Attack increases when using class strike. We do use class strike quite a bit. Maybe get rid of the HP boost for that. We don't need the extra HP when they're already dead. Uh, this is a PS4 game running on PS5. I'm Von Jor, younger brother of Von Voyage, <laughs> and he told me all about you. He even gave me this cannon to help out with your little adventures. Hop in! I'll send you back to my brother's place in Maya! Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm a much better shot than he is. 
Ready? All right, back to Maya. How's the old Gibbonator doing? <clears throat> Munching. Got something good? <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. Excuse me. Oh, T-Bell. <laughs> T-Bell's the perfect, like, garbage food, though. You, you, as you put it in your body, you just know that it's basically poison, but it tastes good. At least that's my perception of T-Bell, for the most part. All right. Now we have to go all the way back to the markets. Because we should be able to get through now. Right? Is that our goal here? Can't believe we don't have like our quest. Oh, yeah. Free City of Maya head divisor. Right on the screen. Obviously. We'll go at night so that the zombies come out because I think they give good EXP. Or is it just XP? Some games use EXP and some use XP. I think this might be an XP type of game. Not that it totally matters. Is this guy gonna say anything? I can't believe that his dialogue doesn't change after we've found the cactus. Fuck. The holy bolt. Oh my god, please. And these guys are uh, half our level now. I purposely skimped. What the fuck? I mean, to be fair, working at Taco Bell sounds like a fucking nightmare. I don't think I've known anyone who worked at Taco Bell and just didn't hate them. Like hate their life. <laughs> That's fair. There are other fast food places that I'm sure are better to work at. But I feel like that's a Taco Bell staple is just hating your life. Someone's got to do it. How do we get to that chest? Hold up. Literally just missed this every time we came through. Chocolate. Super worth. Easy money. Damn, these zombies are still really bulky. We're like level 15 now. Those zombies still don't go down very fast. <laughs> I kind of hope they go broke. Why is that? Is that even a threat? Or I don't know. I figure they're do probably doing pretty well, aren't they? The Holy fuck. Laid them out. That's why they're staying in, in business. They're minimizing. In the business world, that's called minimizing. Alright. Give me the MP jar, though I think we're just basically back at town at this point. Get a holy bolt off before we get there. Min-maxing. Yeah, they're min-maxing their, their stats. Employee stats low. Money stats high. The real question is when do we get any other fucking special moves? We have four special move slots. And nothing to put in them. The merchant town of Bizer. This is 
Pfizer, huh? I guess a merchant town would be lively. Maybe they got some good It is weapons quite lively. We there are fewer ships coming to the harbor as of late. God, I love all this little dialogue. Is this game related to Dragon Quest? It's made by Square Enix, but otherwise, no. This game would have rivaled Dragon Quest back in the day in some ways. Because they were... This is an old game. Remake of an old game. Some say the Merchant Guild runs Bizer, but it's really just a bunch of old coots around town trying to sound important. Laughable. My granny always says she wants to go to the night market, but as soon as it gets dark, she's out like a light. There's a mysterious item called the Minor Mallet. But even the merchant guild that runs the night market hasn't gotten its hands on it. Brrrr. That's the cat. This game do be looking kind of anime though, huh? Come in and steal this guy's money. <laughs> Kids think this house is haunted. Ha! I'm still kicking. I sweep the night market building during the day. That's why I'm never home. This was another thing. This house, I don't remember. I feel like this should be more important because of the talk of it being haunted. But I don't think anything happens there. In the sea is south of Bizer, it sits Buca Island. I heard some sailors talk about how the volcano could erupt at any minute. A lot of world building. Buca Island is in the South Seas. I hear there's a village of monsters there. A village of monsters? Is that a place we ever went to in the original? I don't remember that. A village of monsters. Shit. It's fine. We end up getting some cash money out of it. Oh, this is just a building we can't enter. Just has a door because they all do. You know what those dancers said? They asked if I was a performer too. The nerve. Kind of poking fun at her character design, I think. Pretty self-aware. Our ship sailed Apollo Port. Do you know the town of Apollo is at the base of the mountain territory of the Kingdom of Laurent? Oh, we're going to see the weird bird enemies coming up. The harpy things with the big titties. The night market is looking for more entertainers. I am aware that I like big anime titties. There, uh, there will be some. There have been some. Angela, arguably. I'm definitely shopping for more rare finds at the night market. I came all the way to Bizer, after all. Grab this treasure box. Pretty sure it's nighttime right now, right? Market should be bumping. Let's check that before uh, the day switches over and it closes. And the sea south of Bizer. Oh. Reuse dialogue. The dancing Aurora sisters in the night market are so light on their feet, one glance you'll be swept up in their performance. Oh, this is perfect. Buy this for me. Oh no, which one do I get? There's too many choices. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Earth coin. These are all just the consumables. Heals damage. Yeah. There's like one time use spells we can get. I'm not really too interested. Phony fortune teller. People's lives are 100% destiny. Your future is already decided. There is no hope. Don't bother. You know, you can always rest, reset your training points and try again. It'll cost you, though. How much is it going to cost? Oh, that's cheap as fuck. Well, we're not going to do that. I wonder if it scales up based on how many points we've spent. That could be a thing. Oh, welcome to the Merchant Guild's Night Market. You won't find these wares in any other shop. Careful, there are some dangerous items on sale at the Night Market. It's hard to get your hands on them elsewhere. Looking for labor? Normally I'd offer you a deal on 
indentured servants, but I'm sold out. Someone already bought the last bratty boy I had. That kid had a few screws loose. Kept saying he was a prince or something. Little nod to, uh, Reese's story. Never thought I'd find one of these. Whatever he well, purchased. Other consumable Come stuff. Again. I'm looking for gear. I know there's a gear shop. But I just wanted to make sure we checked everything here. You're an adventurer, right? If you need to get somewhere, come by the docks and see me. You're interested in the night market. Aren't you a little young to be out so late? Welcome to the night market. You'll find lots of rare things for sale. Alright, we gotta we gotta see the girls perform. Aurora sisters, famed entertainers of the night market. Shall we dance for you? I love how they're just the same model, recolored. The homie's been dead for a little while. Feels like at least. It's kind of weird. This actually like looks. There are at least some moves that look like they were pretty well represented in the old sprites. The thought of the Aurora Sisters has granted you new ability. Yeah, they voiced some uh, just more important scenes than others. Aurora Sisters' chain ability increases magic attack by 5%. Boner, boner strike. That's our new ability. Uh, does that stack? Because we have this one, which magic damage dealt increases by 5%. Increases magic attack by 5% in battle. Damn, we can stack it. We're going to keep the victory MP boost on until we get more slots. Just because uh, it helps if we get that little bit of MP back for each enemy killed. If, like, our... It, we could have so much magic damage, but if we don't have MP to cast spells, it's not going to do so much for us. Clearly. Uh, let's go... It's cute. Let's go to weapons first. Oh my god, we found him. We found a little cactus. Find me one more time for a prize. Alright, hold up. We gotta scoop up all the goodies over here real quick. Alright. Surely they will have new weapons. God, I love these like weapon shop interiors. They're just so dense. Like it looks it looks real. Welcome. Lots of wires to browse. As real as it could be. Nice. Twisted rod. Rondell blade. See, that's why I'm like, I don't want to spend my money to change our points out, because money's probably gonna get pretty rare at some point, right? Come again. See what our new weapons look like. Not too crazy, but I do appreciate that they change every time we buy a new weapon. Nobody to chat with in here. Welcome. Lots of wires to browse. Oh yeah, four extra defense. We'll take it. Gear's starting to get a little bit expensive. Be a little bit more careful with our cash in the future. Common mail. Alright, let's get out of here. Down to the docks. I wonder if it has to be daytime for this guy to be here. I didn't really check. Why you triggered? I'm preparing to cast off, but it's taking a while. Why don't you take a walk and come back? What the fuck? Oh, this is your, like, check out the town and learn stuff type of mission. Even though we... We did that on our own to begin with. Shh. Look. There on the horizon, I saw something move. 
Bet it was a ghost ship. I heard some skippers talking about it. Oh, I wish I could ride on a ghost ship. It's always been my dream. Oh, sorry, I'm Matalo, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I really should hope the ship's haunted. Hee <laughs> hee. That is kind of fucked. I think that just more incentivizes, like, raising boar. I think they... You probably could go without it last, you know, before the rebalance. But now it feels like a necessity. Welcome to Bizer. I'm on the tourism board for our fair merchant town. You don't look like you're, you're from around here. If this is your first time, make sure to visit our famous night market. It's one of a kind. You'll find rare items for sale. And don't forget to watch the Aurora Sisters Captivating Sideshow. You won't regret it. Before I forget, the night market is only open at night. Enjoy. I... I have no idea. Or, I think Riker said a brute broke in and killed it. I think. What if we didn't have the money for that? I have to go sell stuff. That seems about right. Fucking rip. Territory. <laughs> we should buy what we need in Palo. Oh, we can actually see the world map now. Holy shit. This is the first time they've shown us the world map. In the Super Nintendo one, every time you got on a ship, you'd at least see some of the world. Oh, we can rotate too. Cool. Getting foggy. Out at sea. <clears throat> Alright, I'm glad we didn't get attacked by the ghost ship. I didn't remember where that happened in the game. But that would have felt really cheesy if that dude told us about the ghost ship and then immediately the ghost ship shows up. Oh yeah, they're being Navarro taken over. Is now a territory under the control of the Navarro Nation. This is really interesting because we have the uh -oh. we have Hawkeye here. Something's not right. They're acting like they don't recognize me. Isabella must have gotten to them. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to plant bushes. Can't Just doesn't make sense. Isabella's doing, I know it. At this rate, all the Navarlins might be under her witchcraft. Paolo is in a terrible state. We show. We should ask around town and find out more. There could be a lead on one of the mana stones after all. Alright, let's ask around. Even though we just asked around at a different place, we'll ask around at this place. Paolo Port is now territory under the control of the Navarro Nation. Damn, that is fucking expensive. Let's see what we got here. He was injured when the Navarlin ruffians attacked the town. That's how you know they're real evil bastards. They injured a child. Apollo Port is now okay. It's the same same dialogue. Oh my god. We're crossing paths. Meadow. That's a really awkward way to deliver that. Hey, you gonna take my order or not? Oh, oh, uh, sorry for the wait. Hmm. 
I love how they gave the bartender like a really unique design. Even though she's not... She shows up like in this scene and nowhere else, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Not a whole lot else. I see no problem. All right, more guards. Oh my God, it's our little buddy, Niccolo. Niccolo, it is you. You have to know me. Come Why is he just standing there shaking? Oh, it's because the magic. He, he doesn't recognize us. Well, now he's not shaking, so that's fine. <laughs> Did you hear Navarro managed to infiltrate Citadel Laurent? What? What's going to happen to us? I don't think they're going to sell us any weapons right now. We'll check. That'd feel real bad if we just bought a bunch of weapons and then we find better ones here. Maybe we can sneak a ship past our blockade. Well, I guess the bartender's design isn't unique because this, this is the same shirt here. Maybe the hairstyle was unique, I'm not sure. Tried to escape along the coastline, but those agents came out of the shadows and ambushed me. Check this out real quick. Well, lots of wares to browse. Okay. It is all the same. It's kind of what I figured, but you gotta check. Damn. Guards just posted up in every shop. It's not tense at all. 